Well, that was definitely different. Hey guys, so I just watched Mandy. It's directed by Panos Cosmatos. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it stars Nicolas Cage. I haven't seen him in a movie in a while, and it was nice to see him in this movie. And this is a smaller movie, but I decided to watch it because of the really high tomato meter, and just a lot of people were talking about it. And basically in this movie, a couple lead a loving and beautiful life until their pine-scented haven is savagely destroyed by a cult. Red, played by Nicolas Cage, is then catapulted into a phantasmagoric journey filled with bloody vengeance and laced with deadly fire. Now, I'm gonna start off by saying saying that this is definitely not a movie for everybody. I mean, if you think that this is going to be an action-packed revenge movie with Nicolas Cage, you aren't really going to get that. I mean, the only action is in the third act, and that's when everything really goes down. It mostly focuses on horror elements throughout the movie that I really thought worked. Now, to me, the best parts about this movie were the visuals and the performances. This movie looked beautiful. I really liked how the lighting and color changed based on what was going on in the movie. A lot of red that kind of unsettled me. And another thing that unsettled me in this movie was the music. It was truly great and really fit the tone of this movie. As I said, I also really liked the performances in this movie. Nicolas Cage, man, he gave such a fantastic performance in this movie. And while this isn't one of my favorite movies of the year so far, it definitely includes one of my favorite performances of the year so far and that of Nicolas Cage. He really knew how to balance everything he had to emote really well. And it made the movie heartbreaking, it made it exciting, and I really love that. Now I'll get into some negatives I have with the movie. While I did enjoy the movie, I do not think it is a great film, mostly because of how unusual it really is, causing it to not have much replay value and it is quite slow at times and I would be lying to you if I said there wasn't times that I was sitting there kind of wanting it to pick up a bit. I also wish that they delved a bit deeper into certain characters and what brought them here and what their purpose really is. I mean we do get a bit of that but I was hoping for a little bit more. But overall, Mandy is a really fun horror movie that is well directed with a bit of very well filmed action that keeps you on the edge of your seat. It has a great performance by Nicolas Cage and it's visually masterful. Unfortunately though, it can be slow at times and I wish they delved a bit deeper into certain characters, but I did enjoy myself in the end. Mandy is good and I'm going to give it a B. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe like Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And as always, have a great day. Peace out.